All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be covering how to use the HDR launcher. Uh, the HDR launcher is something that we just added to HDR. So um, I should explain kind of my SD setup right now. Right now, I have nothing installed. All I have is Atmosphere, and I have the HDR launcher plugin and Skyline. So I launch Smash, and it takes me, it says, hey, HDR's not installed, you're gonna be directed to the HDR launcher, and then it opens the HDR launcher. And so as you can see here, there's a few different options and there's also some background music. The background music is a little loud, so we'll probably be fixing that in the future. But for right now, we decided it was okay enough to release. Um, so the first thing that's gonna happen is uh, you might notice a little bit of delay the first time you try and move the control stick up and down. That is normal. There's not really anything we can do about that. However, you're granted or you're given these few options. And so what I want to do, if I have nothing installed on my SD card, is I wanna click install. So it's gonna go ahead it's going to download the full uh, installation package off of our HDR releases uh, repository. So this isn't actually going to take super long. It's going to go ahead and download it. After this step, it's going to uh, extract it. And you guys will see that. But fundamentally, the whole kind of goal of the launcher is to manage your installation, manage your updates, manage all that for you guys so that you don't have to keep coming back, keep you know turning off your switch, all that stuff. Because really what that ends up doing is that ends up making it harder to update, less likely to update. And we want to make sure that everybody can be on the latest version. So um, obviously the download speed is going to vary depending on your home network. Uh, I currently have a LAN adapter plugged into my switch dock, so I'm getting around 60 megabits per second. Uh, it's also throttled by GitHub, so that's all super fun. Um, but yeah, so we're about 75% done, and I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to wait until we get to the end so that you guys can see kind of what happens. And uh, there's some hiccups here and there. I'm going to blame GitHub for that. But yeah, so almost done here. Okay, so it's done downloading. It doesn't update the UI here. Um, basically, it's just gonna sit on the screen while it's sitting on that screen. So it was actually reading the zip file. If you sit on that screen for more than a minute, chances are something's corrupted. You might not have enough space on your SD card. You're gonna have to back out to the home menu and uh, close the game, maybe check out what's going on. But um, in any case, the normal behavior is that it gets past that and it starts extracting. Now this part's gonna take the longest. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pause the video here and then I will be back once it is done. Okay, so as you can see here, it is almost done downloading or almost done extracting my bad. And it is done now. And so now what it's going through is it downloaded a, uh, a list of hashes and basically it's going through and it's checking every single file that is that belongs to HDR to ensure that they're all uh, accurate. If it's not accurate, it's going to prompt you to re-download the archive and try again. Something else I will comment here is that this verification step is available from the main menu of the launcher. It's the verify button. When you click the verify button, it is important to know that if you have any files in the HDR, HDR skins, or sorry, not HDR, not HDR skins, my apologies, um, HDR, HDR stages, HDR assets, anything in those three folders that isn't in our list of files, it's going to go ahead and delete them because it assumes that something is wrong with your installation and those are outdated files. Um, and so if you do have anything there, just be wary of that. In any case, once it's completely done, it's going to open up this change log menu. This is a rough outline of every single change of every single change that made it into HDR during the time that you were not updated. So as you can see, this is from beta 0.3.7, which was our last public beta, to beta 0.5.13, which is the current public beta. And so now that we're here, you can see the play button has changed to restart. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to restart. And it's going to relaunch the application. Just give it a second.
go ahead and launch back into the launcher here. So as you can see, now we're on play, update, verify, and options and exit. So exit will actually just take you back out to the main menu. Um, but I do want to cover these options here. There's two options for the HDR launcher. There is the nightly update channel. So if you click this, you're going to get the bleeding edge version of HDR. Some things could be completely broken. Sometimes the game will just crash. So this is, you know, if, you, if you're one of our testers or you just want to experience the latest nightly changes, uh, which get pushed probably two or three times each day, uh, I would go ahead and enable this. Uh, as a dev, I'm on the nightly channel. Um, all, all, almost all of our testers are, but you can switch between them with the launcher. And second is the always display this menu on launch. This is actually off for me. So always so the way that always displaying something is going to work is, sorry, that, that didn't make sense how I said that. Basically, the way that this option works is when this is off, it is going to do a few checks at the at each boot so the first check it's going to do is check for this flag if this flag is off it's not going to display it but after that it's going to check the latest version that we have posted for your specific release channel and it's going to check um, what version you are and if there's a corrupted installation you notice that at the very beginning of the video it said hey you're not hdr isn't installed so we're going to launch the launcher after that it waits about one and a half seconds and then it checks if you had pressed the X button. You have to press the X button after the Switch logo starts up and before this check. So you have about a two second window. Um, if the X button is pressed, it will open the launcher. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, also I changed my channel from nightly. So, so, the, so I changed my channel off of nightly to beta right now. So right now I'm on beta and that's the version I just installed. And it says update. If I click update, it's going to say, hey, you're actually on the latest. So there's no reason to update, which is awesome. Uh, if I go back to options and I turn, uh, sorry, here's a slight little bug. Kind of have to just try a couple times until it works. Uh, we'll be fixing that in the future. Right now, it isn't something that we had the time to nail down just yet. Uh, it's going to change to install. But either way, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press the play button. And from here on out, it's going to show me the Acropolis changelog because H HDR comes packaged with Acropolis. Or sorry, Acropolis comes packaged with HDR. My apologies. And I believe I should be getting a pop-up here that says... Uh, actually, no, I shouldn't be getting a pop-up here because my Acropolis config already has all of these mods enabled. If this is your first time installing HDR, you're probably going to have a pop-up here that says, hey, there's a list of new mods. Do you want to enable them? And so as you can see, now I'm uh, booting into HDR here. I've got uh, that little loading screen. And as soon as I see this opening movie, I'm going to go ahead and press A to get to the title screen. And as you can see here in the top right, I went from nothing to version 0.5.13-beta only on uh, the console. So next, I'm going to show you what happens if you're upgrading from the previous beta to this one. And then after that, I'll show you what happens, what will be happening in the future when you upgrade beta. So give me one moment to get that all set up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the last beta. You can tell because the HDR version in the top right is actually incorrect. And that was a bug we noticed with the last beta. But either way, I'm going to go ahead. I've moved the launcher into my plugins folder. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to launch the game. And upon launching the game, it's going to say, hey, HDR is not installed. Now, the reasoning for this, the reason it says this is just because our packaging has changed slightly between the last beta and this beta. So it's just going to take me to the installer. And um, at that point, it's going to say fix HDR instead of you know update or install. And basically fix HDR is just another version of the install button. So it's gonna go ahead, it's gonna download the whole package. So we've seen all this before. So I all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna cut until uh, the verification is almost done. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so as you can see here, I actually forgot to press the record button after the verification, but regardless, after that installation, I ended up on the nightly releases channel instead of the beta because I forgot that I was on the nightly releases channel. 
Um, if you're on the nightly releases, it's going to update you to the latest nightly. If you are on the latest, or if you're on the beta channel, it's going to update you to the latest beta. But either way, that's how you upgrade from there. So next, I want to show you what happens when you are upgrading from either a beta to the next beta, or a nightly to the next nightly. Um, this will be happening from here on out from in the initial launch because we changed our packaging structure It's not going to be the exact same which is a little unfortunate. However, it is um, What it is so really quickly. I'm I just need to change my version uh, I'm just going to slightly modify it for demonstration purposes. You'll never have to do this. Uh, I'm just going to change my version.txt to reflect an outdated beta and so now let me go ahead, relaunch the game. The launcher is still active. Okay, yep, so there's an update for HDR. And so I'm going to scroll down and click update. Once again, it might take a little bit. And as you can see, I'm still on the nightly channel. I'm gonna click update. And all it's going to do is it's going to download the upgrade.zip, which is significantly smaller than the, the Switch payload. So as you can see, I'm already done with the download part. The download part happened in the amount of time that it took me to say it was downloading upgrade.zip. Our packaging structure now allows you to download only the required files to update to the next version. So... The next time a beta comes around, if you're on version 0.5.13 or 0.5.13 beta, if you're on that version, let's say the next beta is version 0.7.6. If you're when you update, you don't have to re-download the whole 500 megabyte package. You only have to download whatever was changed, which could be, you know, three megabytes worth of things. So really what it comes down to is this updater is going to save everybody a lot of time because it means it, it allows you to update only the required files and then it runs verification afterwards to make sure there's nothing wrong there's no outdated files or anything but as you can see here by the time it gets done with this verify step i'm completely done it shows me the change log and then i can just back out and restart awesome and when I get back in, I should be on version 0.5.13 nightly. Um, to update between nightly and beta does require a full reinstall of the package. And I can show you kind of the start of that uh, after I get to the launch or to the title screen here. And I can show you that I'm on version 0.5.13. Um, I can show you that it does require a full redownload of the package. So every time you do update between beta and night or switch between beta and nightly, it might take 10 to 15 minutes. But really, it's you're most likely going to be picking one and sticking with it for the majority of the time. Only switching if you're going to, you know, play in a Wi-Fi tournament or trying to play with people on the beta. Uh, we do intend to improve that functionality in the future and manage two separate installs and see which one is installed or see which one is enabled with Arcropolis. Uh, either way, that's not really a now uh, concern. It's more going to be addressed in a couple weeks, maybe. But uh, yeah, as you can see here. I'm on 0.5.13 nightly, so now I'm going to restart, head into the launcher. I need to hold X because I don't have it enabled by default. I can't hold X until I see the Switch logo, and then I'm pressing X now. And uh, after a few seconds, it should boot into the launcher. Yep. So I'm going to go down to Options, Change to Beta, Install, and then it goes ahead and redownloads the whole Switch package.zip. So I'm not gonna go. I'm, I'm not gonna go ahead and redownload this because we've already seen all this and everything. So yeah, basically, this is how you use the um, this is how you use the launcher. Uh, if you have questions, you can always hop into our Discord at discord.gg/hdr and ask them there. This initial part will be a little bit confusing until we have time to improve the launcher and make it a lot more, you know, user friendly. It's already more user friendly than the previous installation method was, but. You know, we, we definitely intend to improve it over time because this is kind of our, our shining thing right now. But yeah, so hopefully this, this video helped. Hopefully it helps you understand how to use this. Um, I will say, quick thing, if you are updating from the previous beta, when you put this plugin in your plugins folder, please 
delete every other HDR plugin, specifically libhdr.nro and libsmashline hook uh, development.nro if you have that one. Otherwise, we should be good to go.